Okay guys, so now that we actually have the map, we need to get a better understanding of what the, the data here looks like. So let's just console.log the data and take a peek at that. So it should look familiar. This is what we were working with before. So what we need to do is, you'll notice in, inside these arrays there's a ton of other um, objects. So we need to first just single out these objects. So we're going to use a for loop to, to one by one inspect all this, all these objects. So we'll get rid of that and make a for loop. So say var x equals zero. Um, x is less than data dot length. So it's going to it's going to loop through the data array. Um, and then increment by one. Okay, so now let's just console.log data, but we want to um, sp specify what index we, of data we want to print. So let's try that. All right. So now we're, we're going one by one and printing each item in that array. So now we need to take a closer look to see what actual data we want to use here. So we're looking for GPS coordinates or some sort of coordinate. Um, so what we need to do, that's the starting and ending lat long. I don't remember why I don't use that, but I use this map and then this summary polyline. Now. Uh, oh yeah, because start and end, that's not, um, that's basically, it would just be a line, like it's not detailed enough. So this summary polyline, it's this crazy number, so it's actually a Google thing, I think. Um, summary polyline, it has something to do with Google. It's basically like uh, an encoded way of um, describing coordinates. So if I, oops. If I copy one of these summary polylines and paste it in here, oops. Copy property. We just need to get this. You know what? How about we just do this? We'll go back to here and let's let's just get out that piece of data. So that piece of data happens to be data.x.map.summary polyline. So if we refresh this, it should just be printing all the polylines here, right? So let's take one of these, and copy it, and paste that here. And decode this polyline. Yes, there we go. So that particular event or that particular activity, this is what the summary polyline looks like. So now the question is, how like how do we get? How is this useful to us? We somehow well we somehow have to decode this into lat long. So we're almost there. We, we have the data in polyline. Now we just need to get the lat long from it. So I found this um, this library for leaflet that does this for us. So I'm going to polyline decoder leaflet. So this is what I was using. So this plugin to support Google's polyline encoding and leaflet. So basically we need to use some some functions from this code. So what we can do is just copy this code. So just copy this and go back. What's this called? So we're just gonna make a new file called this. You know I'm not sure if we need all this, I don't think we do. Let's just try it. So we'll make a new 
file here. What's it called? Poly. All right. Paste that in there. And now we just need to reference this in our index.html. So in the head here, it equals polyline. Okay. So we can close this. Alright, so now we're going to make this new variable called coordinates. Set it equal to l.polyline from encoded. Now that's a function that's coming from this polyline encoded.js. And so what do you want to, well, what's What's the value you're talking about? It's this. And what do we want to do? We want to get lat lat logs. All right. So now let's console.log coordinates. All right, with any luck, that should work. Are these coordinates? Yep, okay, cool. So that's awesome. That worked as expected. So I know it's a little hectic here, but this is the actual data we need to get at. So we're almost done. Now we just need to add those to the map. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to get out of this for loop. We have an array for each item called the coordinates. Actually, no, we're staying in this for loop. L dot polyline coordinates. And now we're just going to give these some properties. So color. color green weight I'm not sure if all these are absolutely necessary but the example I was looking at had these in there so opacity 0.7 then line join I don't know what this does line join round all right, then outside of this, we're going to say add two, and we're going to add it to our map. So our map is just called map. Okay, and I think that should do it. So it's going to loop through, and every time it loops through, it's going to add this to the map. So. Close all that. Nothing yet. Okay. That's polyline. Let's see here. Something's wrong with this. Oh, I, th I don't think I need to capitalize that. something else wrong here. I don't see any errors. It's always something. Oh, you know, it's because <laughs> we're not zoomed in at the right area. So this keeps, this is hovering over London. So 
I'm based in Virginia, so we gotta scroll over there. And we can set this area too, like where it automatically zooms to. Here we go. Cool. Alright. Okay, so let me see how long this video is. 10 minutes. Um, let me just quickly show you how to set these these properties so it shows up there. Um, and you'll probably be able to find it right here, the set view. Oh wait, no, that's not it. I guess that is. Those are coordinates. I'm thrown off because usually latitude for me doesn't look like that, but I guess it's really close to the <clears throat> prime meridian. Okay, so these are just general coordinates that are close to where all my activities are. So I'm going to paste them in there. And I'll change this zoom level. So actually I'll leave it like that for now. So let me go way over here and refresh it. Now it should take us, okay, it's right over DC. Okay, and the zoom level, so by default, or what we copied from the um, example was at 13, but let's, I think if we go the other direction, 11, I think that's going to zoom it out a little bit more. Yep. Okay, so there we go. That uh, That's the basics of how it's set up. Um, I know this bit here is a little confusing, and you might have been confused with where I got this from encoded. Um, and, and to be honest, I I just Googled it and um, found that other people were using it, and I just threw it in my code. I, I didn't really inspect it and learn much about it. But um, yeah, these are the steps that I, I took to get it working. Um, it was sort of a learning process for me, so I, I hope this helps help some other people out. Uh, I will, I'll put the code on GitHub and um, if anybody has any questions just um, let me know but you know it's it's not a ton of code to to be using an API and populating a web map. Um, it's it's pretty cool and uh, not too complex so uh, I think that's it. Alright, thanks for watching.